a healthy relationship is about what? Communication, teamwork, teamwork. Making sure that you are able to communicate with your significant other. See, I can catch the ball, look at that. And we throw the ball to each other. I'm not gonna throw it above his head. I'm not gonna throw it at his feet because you know what? We're a team, right? And that is what a good couple consists of. Teamwork, communication, and unconditional love. Woo! <laughs> Still catching it. Yes! What's up guys? John here from Titan. My man Big Drew. And we're out here trying to catch a pre-pump before we go to the beach. Now, this can be done anywhere, wherever you're at. So if you're traveling in your hotel rooms, people always say, man, I can't get a workout because I don't know where to go and I don't know what to do and I, I can't do all this. Well, you gotta use your surroundings. There's objects around you you could possibly use. Even if you don't have any objects around you, right. you can literally get down and like do push-ups, just regular push-ups. As long as you have a floor, that's pretty much all you need. As long that's as you it. have a stationary floor that's hard enough where you can push, that's all you need. That's it. That's all you so need. if you're looking for that pump, you just wanna start building up those areas use push-ups. I mean, I even have to go to the guys in jail and stuff like that in prison. They have no things in their cell. They make these little things work with what they have. So at that point, if you're looking to do a pre-pump, it's real simple and easy. So I'm gonna get down here and do some. Drew will show you some on this bench right here. And this will just be a little tutorial, like literally get down. Even if you're trying to work towards a goal in fitness, every time, even if you're watching TV, right, your favorite, your favorite TV show, in those commercials or every 10 minutes, Hit down, do 25 to 50 push-ups, whatever you can do, and do that every time you hit a commercial. I promise you'll be built up so quick yeah. ahead of spin. And a lot of times people don't realize too, push-ups help a lot with your posture. Right. I have bad posture, a lot of people have bad posture. If you do push-ups correctly every day, it's, it's studies have shown it helps with your posture too. So it's not just about performing Absolutely. and being big and strong, it's about you know, yeah. sitting upright and being well. And also okay. triceps, triceps are huge. Yep. I noticed that a lot of guys that have really, really big triceps, they do a lot of push-ups. Yep. Whether they're bodybuilders, whether they're crossfitters, whether yep. you're just a stay-at-home mom, doesn't matter what you are. When you do a lot of close grips, triceps get built yep. up. So if you have elbow pain like me, take your BPC 157 oh, yeah. and do them a little bit closer and less weight and blow up those triceps. Absolutely. So I'm awesome. gonna show you some close ones, triceps. Yeah. Close. For sure. Now anything close, if you an, an advanced would be here, diamond. Yeah, That's really gonna hit your tricep. Yeah, diamonds. So basically, sure. just a little bit in more than shoulder width. Yep. Keep your elbows tucked here. Yep. So I'm coming down and I'm pressing. This is now when I come down, if you really want to get crazy with it, put your forearm against the grass, then come back up. Here, here. So this is his triceps. And then go into your diamonds. Diamonds. I love diamonds. I'll pump diamonds all day, guys. And people always say, like, oh that looks so easy. Well you guys get down and start pumping out oh, diamonds yeah. like it ain't nothing. Because I promise you, you can see, it ain't that easy. You can see the tricep blasting. Triceps and chest is blasting out. Come down, sit here, do not touch your chest to the ground. Right, back is straight, and push up, explode. Go down, I promise you guys, push up, explode. You guys are gonna be so good. And then you can get into it, just start repping it out. And then variations, push up and explode. You're good to go. Also too, if you notice, his back is straight. I see a lot of times people doing push ups, Bend back. And they're going like this. See how my back is bent? Oh, oh I can't do it. In. Your back should be in. Yep. Should be here. Push ups, baby. You guys want to get wide? You want to expand your chest, you get it wide? Put your hands wide and turn them out. Turn them out a little bit. Yes. Another good one. See, I'm not here. No. This is wrong. Way wrong. Your butt has to be in flat. That's right. Parallel. You see how his back is parallel? Don't cheat, guys. Do it like this. Do as many as you possibly can, even if it's one to start. You gotta start somewhere. Explode it. These will get easy over time. With more practice, you become perfect. You might not be perfect, but you can there try to get there. Another one is real quick before we end this. I love doing these in the hotel. Oh yeah. You can bring them in for diamond, keep your head straight. All right? Hold it, up, 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 and so on and so on, guys. 
good for cardiovascular health too. So just remember some of these tips and tricks that me and Drew are trying to teach you guys because it will help you and it will help your results in the future. That's right guys, be safe, train hard, and don't be afraid to do push-ups and lightweight. You can get big doing push-ups, believe Absolutely. it or not, you can get big. Absolutely, or my cut as well. So this is just another tip and trick segment by me and Big Drew. Better guys. What's up guys, John back from Titan, and I'm here with my APRN, Cass Fernandez. So today we're gonna to cover some of the most common questions that I think Cass gets in his visits. Um, the first one I think is pretty common, right? And is basically, am I married to this therapy? Will I have to stay on this hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy for the rest of my life? You're right, I get that quite often. Patients wanna know, once I start this therapy, am I gonna be on it forever? So the short answer to that is no, you're not. So when you come to us, we will evaluate your needs for hormones. Right. If you need a replacement type of therapy, we will prescribe one to you. However, our therapies are very therapeutic. So we're gonna approach that in a way that doesn't shut your system down. Gotcha. So we're gonna have gonadal support. We're gonna be controlling your estrogen levels as well. Mm -hmm. So when it's time, if you decide after years of therapy and feeling mm -hmm. great, you wanna come off, you can do that and we'll safely do that with a tapering down approach. Gotcha. Okay, now with that being said, what we would do is we would lower those levels safely and you will revert back to what you were previously as your hormone levels. Now, mm -hmm. big disclaimer, as we age, our hormone levels begin to decline. Okay, right. so you may not be as high as you once were. However, you can safely come off of these therapies and have your production that you naturally have. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's a good point out there. So you guys ask that a lot. I want to make sure the medical provider could properly explain it to you guys. And it's it's really some good information. You know, people really don't know this information. They think uh, once I go on this, I'm gonna have to stay on this for the rest of my life. I've seen this in some forums and online and stuff like that. So it's awesome to explain it to people that sure. you don't have to be on this for the rest of your life. Let's say there's a health issue, financial issue, something goes on, we can help properly get you off the exactly. healthy way. Um, the second question is, is, you know, am I gonna lose fertility or am I gonna have a kid on testosterone hormone replacement therapy? Because we might get some, you know, people in their 30s and they still wanna have kids. Um, or you know, people in general are worried about fertility. What do you think? Sure, absolutely. I mean, big question, important question. We all want to know that, especially as men, especially as men in relationships wanting mm -hmm. to conceive children one day. Right. So, common misconception: you start hormones, steroids, the negative things about them, abusing them. Yes, you can have some issues with them. However, again, our therapeutic approach with medical providers monitoring you closely, giving you gonadal support, yep. keeping your function where it should be naturally is going to help you potentially conceive children right. okay we have therapies glutathione and hcg human chorionic gonotropic hormones those can help you have strong healthy sperm healthy gonads so definitely we are going to take care of you as best we can to help you with all of your goals even if it is conceiving children awesome awesome so i think that's another big one now what, what do you think is the other big questions that you get I mean, is there anything that sticks out in your head you know that you get a lot of questions why commonly asked, asked question i know you know uh, uh and needles you know does it have to be an injection can it be an oral form can it be a cream can it be a gel for uh, hormone replacement therapy and you know and basically i think oh, yeah. that question is yes right i mean i get i could sit here all day and talk about all the questions i get yeah. but that is an important one because patients want to know is this injectable? Is this a cream? Is this a, a lotion? Right. Is this a pill? So right. we do offer all of those, of yep. course. Yep. Um, now they're indicated for different reasons, specifically per each patient. Yep. So I will say that obviously injections are where it's at. It's very precise way to deliver that medication, yep. you know, in a manner that you absorb it well. Now for other patients, creams make more sense. Right. Um, and as far as pills go, you know, that is an option as well. Right. Um, but we will make sure we customize that approach for each patient. Each one of you right yeah because different people want different maybe administration forms and we can definitely offer that for our patients to customize that regimen form so it's great information there the other thing is uh, you know the next thing I would think is 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 testosterone going to make me aggressive or going to turn me into Arnold Schwarzenegger 
Well, I mean, that'd be great, right, if we could all look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. But <laughs> the truth is, no, it's not going to turn you into a monster. Right. No, it's not going to make you super aggressive. Yeah. Now, that can happen with patients who are unbalanced, okay, right. without being treated by a medical provider. Yes. Hormones do change. They fluctuate. So when you change one, alter one, the other can have an effect. But, again, our therapeutic approach here at Titan, we're going to make sure that your levels are balanced so you have a positive reaction to the treatment and you feel well and optimized so it's all about balance so you're not mm -hmm. going to turn into you know an aggressive person that's mm -hmm. not what we do here at titan medical center mm -hmm. we're going to make you optimize we're going to help you with your health and overall wellness right so these are just a couple commonly asked questions by patients now i think we're going to do some more content along the lines and sure. bring you some more questions and answers of these common questions that patients might want to know the answer too, just like you. So stay tuned. We're going to bring Cash back, APRN, or you might see him on your visit if you become a Titan Medical Center patient. So we appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys soon. Guys, stay strong out there, stay healthy, and now let's stay educated, okay?
What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, me and my beautiful wife here, we're going to give you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship or your future relationship and make sure you guys don't make those mistakes that maybe we've made in the past maybe. or some of our people or friends or somebody we've heard of. So at that point, we want to make sure you guys are getting some good advice here. Um, and this week, it's a good one. It's talking all about teamwork teamwork makes the dream work definitely does 100 percent. teamwork goes in every avenue of life pretty much um you know whether you're in a relationship right and you're in your job you probably work with team members um if you play sports you have team members there um so at that point like it's a really important thing and even let's talk about relationships teamwork is very very important and the reason why is because you guys are essentially a team. And you guys are going to work together no matter what it is. Or you it should. should. <laughs> if you guys you aren't should. working as a team. Yeah. And you a lot could. Of people don't. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, I see a lot of problems with it because people are still, you know, when you go into a relationship, you're an individual, right? So you're the I in team, per se. But when you go into that team, that's when you guys, you know, come together you guys start collaborating. You guys start planning things. You guys start doing these different things together. Um, but some people don't get out of that individualized situation in their head, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or, the, you know, because maybe it's a career thing. Yeah, I mean, they might have to hold everything at their job. So maybe they're just used to doing that. I know me personally. Like, you know, I guess once I get in a certain mode, I have this, like, mode. And it just stays on all day, right? And some people can't turn that mode off. It's kind of the same thing, I think. You know, yeah. where let's just say they have to hold the burden at, at work. They may not really let go of the, I am going to make all the decisions right now, right here, without making a team decision when they go home. Right. I mean, it's you know, common, I think it is common, you know, I mean, but even in the light of where some people, they just, they compete with their spouse. I mean, and they shouldn't be competing with their spouse. If you guys are married for sure, a hundred percent, even if you guys are in a, a dating relationship or girlfriend and boyfriend type deal, um, it shouldn't be who gets the best of who. Right. right. The only time that that actually works is when you guys go to Dave and Buster's and then you really do compete oh okay. yeah. <laughs> you know how many ever, whoever gets the most baskets <laughs> whoever okay. wins the mario kart <laughs> then you compete okay outside of dave and busters no competing it's okay so to have some, some fun competition <laughs> in games but you know in all seriousness when you guys are doing serious things or you know you guys are making serious decisions that's when the team comes into effect and now one team member might be better at one thing than the other right but that's where you guys utilize each other's best of skills and make the best of these situations, scenarios, or your future planning. I mean, because that's what it's all about. I mean, team members come together, whether they like each other or don't. Now, if you're in a relationship, hopefully you like that you team member, Kind of have right? to. You know, even, even if you think about, like, let's say separated couples and stuff, right? Yeah. You guys have to work as a team for the kids. Yeah. And a lot of times it does come down to, like, kids, right? Yeah. So you should work as a team when it comes to making decisions for the kids. Yeah. You should work as a team to make things happen. So making things happen goes on many levels, right? So, for instance, I'm going to use me and John's. This is a very recent thing for us making it happen at the office, right? Let's just say that there's some things that need to happen at the office and we need to make it happen. And both of us need to work together as one because we're stronger together than individually, right? right. So we work together as one to get the job done and get it done extra, extra right. right. You know, so you do the same thing. You apply that same exact concept to, you know, okay, let's say you got three kids, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna go to soccer, I'm gonna do basketball, we're gonna meet up, we're gonna do dinner at eight. You know, like, and then you're working as a team, so everything gets done, right? Same thing when it comes, to, let's say it comes to house chores, right? And let's say that, you know, you've got this whole slew of laundry to do, right? So your husband's ever so kind enough to say, listen, you know what, honey, I'll go ahead and I'll do the dishes, just knock out those eight loads of laundry, right? But it's, you're working as a team to get the job done. So ultimately, regardless of what you guys do to make it get done, 
it has to get done, right? It's not it's not going to do itself. Right. So you guys have to work together. And believe it or not, when you work together, not only will you probably get it done more efficiently, um, but, you know, it's a little bit less seamless if you're working together as a team. Everybody's on the same page. You're communicating. But teamwork is, is huge. And this comes financially. I mm-hmm. mean, that's the same exact thing, mm-hmm. too. Making sure everybody's on the same page financially. Mm-hmm. Teamwork. You know, uh, let's say you want to put together a savings account, right? All right. From your check, 100 bucks every week. Your check, 100 bucks every week. Guess what? We have money to go on a vacation at the end of the year. Teamwork. This mm-hmm. is teamwork makes dream work. Going right mm-hmm. back to it. Mm-hmm. You know? I agree. I mean, you know, when you're working as a team, you're going to be able to accomplish more things. Even if you divide and conquer as a team, right? Like she was saying, like, you know, you take her to soccer practice, I'll take him to baseball practice, you know, and we're working as a team to accomplish this. Um, it's a lot easier. There's less friction because you guys are on the same page. If you guys are on the same page, you guys are not going to be working as a team very well. Better get on the same page. That's when you guys, <laughs> yeah, that's when the communication comes into play. Communication. And we always come back to that. It's a very important one. I mean, you know, we covered every episode because it's really, it's key. And teammates communicate. Right. Whether you're on the basketball court. Even on the floor, basketball court, right? right? They're still doing something in the you know, back or like, they have it set up. Hey, pass me the ball or, hey, I got a pick coming, you know. Or they got a up. wink or something, you know. Whatever it is, yeah. They <laughs> communicate in these ways to let their team member know what's going on so, you know, they can adapt to whatever the situation is. Right. And that's really what it is. And I know before we've talked about, you know, your own little language, your own little things to yeah. let your teammate know or your, your spouse or your partner a know. A nice kick under the table works well, too. <laughs> Maybe that, you know, <laughs> we need to get out of the situation. It, it's easier to read your teammate. And, you know, going along with the teammate thing, when you're doing these things together, it's bonding. Mm-hmm. It's bringing you guys closer. You, you don't guys, even realize it, but you don't. it really does. You know, you have no idea. And then you can look back at these, you know, situation scenarios. Maybe... They were bad ones at that time, and you can sit back and laugh at them now because you guys got through them. You guys got through them as a team. Accomplished And you guys accomplished whatever task it was or goal you had to get. Overcame it, right? Yeah, for sure. It's huge. I I, I think that's that's definitely the thing. You win together, you lose together. Yeah, it's not an individualized thing. Because, I mean, ultimately, if you guys really are a couple, right, and this is what we're talking about, relationship goals. Yeah. It, it, what one does affects the, the other. For sure. Regardless. If For you sure. think it does or doesn't, it might be mentally, it might be physically, it might be emotionally, it might be financially. Either way, you look at it, you guys are bonded in all of those platforms. Yep. So you guys have to make sure that you guys are working as a team or it's going to affect one or the other. And, right. God, and I mean, that's the best way to do it. You know, teamwork, communication, right. huge. So, you know, this is for mostly couples that are together, right? Because they're already together. They've already bonded to a certain point. They're already on each other's team. You know, if you're single, right? Because there are single people that probably watch this too as well. <laughs> you know, at that point, when you're looking for a partner, look for a good teammate too as well. Right. That's somebody that's interacting with you, communicating with Responsive. you. Responsive. And that's not something that might happen in the first two dates, but uh, probably not. You can you can definitely tell within I, I would say the first month or so of like, you know, this girl or this guy is going to be a really good teammate. They, you know, they include me in things. They're bringing up good points. They're trying to help me as well as me help them, and not just a one way street. Right. You know, there's a lot of relationships and stuff like that, or people out there where it's a one way street, like. Right. You know, one person is doing everything, breaking their back, um, making things happen, where the other one kind of just, you know, just enjoys the ride, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's not a teammate either. It's you like know? a dead weight. Exactly. You don't want dead weight or toxicity. And you're only, what, as strong as your weakest link? Is that what you normally you're say? You're only as strong as your weakest link. Yeah, John said right? that all the, the time. chain or the chain's going to break. Right. So, you know, if you got, you know, a great team, and, you know, let's talk about our office here, right? We've got a great team. But I always tell Sharice, like, you know, that one person, she might say, oh, you know, this person is probably the weakest here. I'm like, well, your weakest link is your, you know, essentially what's going to make us fail here. So right. we got to make sure that that chain is strong, too. That link is fortified. Um, and the relationship is the exact same thing. Trust comes into play, too, as a teammate. you got to trust your teammate. because yeah. you know, Then you got to come through on the other end, though. Yeah. You got to follow through. Absolutely. Like, you know, if you say you're going to do something, then do it. And, you know, kind of goes back to, like, you know, I, we came across this other couple. And I think that, you know, a lot of people, like, the going back to the single people, you know, if you meet somebody. I do think, I really truly believe this, and I feel like there's a lot of people, because it's 2021, you guys don't even give yourself an opportunity to try to see if it's really going to work, right? right? You just kind of, it's jump and go, yeah. jump and go, yeah. jump and go, go to the yeah. next. So if you see a light somewhere in there, right? 
just maybe you'd be surprised. Sport. Like you would be surprised if you truly love somebody, right? Mm-hmm how many things you would possibly change for that person. Mm -hmm. And that change could make them a better teammate, right? So for instance, when I met John, I used to smoke, right? I used to smoke cigarettes, two packs a day. Terrible, I know, I know, we're all human, right? So, you know, he's like, "Uh -uh, I'm not having this. You're not smoking any more cigarettes, you're done. So I'm like, "Um, uh, I mean, I guess I can give them up, you know? (laughs) <laughs> Obviously, this has helped my health immensely over the years. Immensely. You know, I don't sure. smell terrible, you know, all oh, day God. like an ashtray um, because that, that smell smells terrible. Now that I'm not a smoker, I can really smell it. Right. Yes. And now it's not even cool to smoke. Right. Remember back in like 1980, it was kind of actually like it was cool at that time. You know, I guess you could agree to disagree. But anyways, this is what I'm saying is you would make a change, yeah. you know, to be a better person for your significant other be a better teammate whatever that change might be i'm just Mm -hmm. using that as an example Mm -hmm. but you'd be surprised so if you if you really really care for someone or you think you might really really like this person or you might possibly have future love for this person or you might see really good good stuff in this person Mm -hmm. you could mold this person into being somebody that you really really truly can be with sometimes you just have to give a little effort it's true you it's know, definitely true. A little effort goes a long way. I mean, you know, even teammates, like I said, that don't like each other. Let's say when you apply this to a relationship type deal, you guys are fighting about something. But when you guys are out there in the game, right, out in public or out in an event or whatever it is you have to go do, that's when you guys pull together as a team. You guys do what you guys got to do. get the job done. Right? And at that point, you guys can go back to the conversation later. You can fight later. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully <laughs> clear up whatever the issue was, you know. Um, that's really what it's all about. So... Now, all this is about is is being a better couple, mm-hmm. being a good team member, coming through, following through, following being responsible, through. being trustworthy, right? If you say you're going to do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Help out. Make sure, you know, you're making your teammate better too as well, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that's what it's all about. So, I mean, this is just one great tip. From me and Sharice that we've learned through business, we've learned through relationship Big wise. Time through business, um, through business you do because me and Sharice are connected like twenty four seven. Literally, so. we, I mean business together and we're together all day. All day. So I mean, so, it, you know, really got to find that happy medium. You do. You <laughs> do. And when you have a great team member, you'll want to be around that team member all the time. No I know, just so much fun. If you got a bad one, then it's gonna be like, oh, you know, I really don't want her. Yeah. So make sure you guys are finding <laughs> a good relationship with a good team member, right? Because that's going to make all the difference in the future for you. So uh, this is just another great tip and trick from me and Sharice. We're here every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC, Cupid's Corner. And if you can't check it out here, make sure you guys are checking out YouTube. Just type in Tight Medical Center. We've got all the shows there. Plus Instagram and Facebook, it's on there too. Make sure you check it out. Give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe to our channel, right? And give us some great feedback on our Cupid's Corners. And we'll keep bringing you this great content and these great tips and tricks just from me and Sharice to you guys. So we appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Boom.